What's up, everyone? Before you start watching this, this is going to be an emotional video. I doubt it's going to have crying in it. But it will be an emotional video. It will be a real video. I feel like I earned myself a real video today. From doing all the little jokes and all that. Because I love joking around. Because I know shit's not real. But when shit is real, it really fucks with your head. To a point where you can't just always tell a joke. You can't always tell a joke and just be like, I'm good. I'm good. You know? Sometimes you untell a joke and you'll be good for a little bit. But that joke's not gonna get you through whatever you're going through. And I know that. I do videos, funny videos to entertain y'all guys. I don't do it to entertain myself. I don't do it to sit here and say, oh, I'm I'm the next Kevin Hart. Because majority of people don't even find my comedy funny. And I don't care. Because some people do find it funny. And that's not what this video is about. It's not about comedy. It's about sometimes... Not knowing what to do next. In life. You know, because we get to a point where, you know, something happens. And it's like, we got so far, but it, it feels like we did it for nothing. And... You know, regardless what we do, it seems like we can't change the fact. So. I'm just having a lot of second thoughts right now. A lot of second thoughts. And it's not about anything but life. Nothing but life I'm having second thoughts about. I know sometimes I just come and I just have awkward silence. But it's medicated. Medicaid sometimes. Just add that awkward silence. Please! Please! Be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know y'all are supporting me at least. And I'm not just doing this to hear myself talk because if I'm doing that I might as well just turn my shit private. And I'm not saying it's about views. It's not what it's about. Sometimes I think, what if I didn't do YouTube? To put it bluntly honest. And for a normal person like me, who doesn't even make money off YouTube, normal people might ask me the same question. Why do you do? Why do you do what you do? Why do you spend so much time? And it's because I love making videos. I love making people happy. Because I know how it feels not to be happy. I know how it feels to go through stuff. And a lot of people don't think that I've been through anything. A lot of people will say, 
you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. And then when I tell them, they're like, oh, oh, wow, okay. I didn't know my life was better than your life. And then that just makes me feel worse. That I got to prove to people that my life is worse than them to make other people happy. Which, in return, makes me feel a type of way. Because when I'm sitting here explaining my life to people, it just, it brings back the emotion of everything. You know, it brings back memories of people I can't get back, stuff I can't do again. And it hurts. But I do it to help other people. And that's why I do it. So that's why I make these videos. That's why I make these serious videos. Because hopefully someone is watching it at home. And saying. Wow. Wow. Okay. If he can do it. I can definitely do it. And I'm not saying my life is the worst. I'm definitely not saying that. Because I've actually talked to a few viewers, and their life is just as fucked up or worse than mine. So I'm definitely not saying that. But majority of people <laughs> come to me with dumb stuff, to be honest with you. It's dumb to me. It might, be, it, not, it might not even be dumb to them. It might be, you know, the serious, the most serious thing in their life, you know. And I'll just tell them, you know, what, you know, after all that I've been through and you can't take one, you know, and that's why I tell people my story, show people what I've been through, you know, and it does help people, it does help people. I don't know if it helps y'all guys, but it does help people. You know, I've had friends that I've talked to, and I've talked them out of killing themselves. I've talked people out of hurting themselves. I've talked out, I've talked people out of doing stuff that they shouldn't do. Majority of the time, it's because I've done it all. I done it all to be honest with you. I done it all. Not I done everything, but most of the stuff that I see people doing, I've done it. I've tried it. I've been down that road. You know, and I don't want to see other people go down that road when they never not that they haven't been through the shit but they haven't been pushed to the limit so there's no reason they should be saying any of this shit or try and do any of this shit cause they never been pushed they never been pushed to the edge you know and I'm gonna be honest with you majority of people have never been pushed to the edge they just sit there and they just you know, talk about, oh, well, I got this problem, I got that problem. Well, guess what? I got that problem, I got another problem, and I got about 20 more. You know? I got a lot of problems. But you can't tell it through my fucking videos. You can't even tell. You know, you can watch one of my videos and you think, wow got the best life I would love to live with him and then you watch another one of my videos and you think wow wow what, what happened over that short period of time is he bipolar you know and I get that question asked a lot are you bipolar no I'm not bipolar I will tell you what I do before I start a video I make sure I get everything out of my system. 
If I need to cry, I cry before the video, unless I'm doing a video like this. If I need to do anything, I do it before a video, and when I get behind the camera, I, I put on a smile. You know, it's not a fake smile, because y'all do make me happy. But y'all don't solve my problems, you know? And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, because there's really no way y'all could solve my problems. But that's why I tell y'all my story, so I can solve your problems, so... Watching my videos are nothing. You can click on my video and watch it, and it's nothing, you know? But when you click on something and it actually has emotion and feelings, that's what I really want people to grab a hold of. I really want people to hold on to that. You know, I want people to carry the words, you know. I want, I want to hear other people, you know, do what I do. You know, tell people their story. Tell people it can get worse. It can get a lot worse. A lot worse. More than you can even fucking imagine. Because I can tell you. I thought my life was shit back in middle school. I attempted suicide a few times in middle school. And, you know, I thought my life was done, you know? I would never get a second chance. Then, going into high school, you know? I kind of was still a lost soul, a lost cause. And I met Jalissa. And y'all know the rest. And then I realized, you know, shit can be good or it can be bad. You know? You can't control it. You can't. You can't control it because it's not you, it's your emotions, but you really cannot control it because it's other people who make you feel like shit. Like right now, Spanky's pissing me off. You know? But it's really, you know, I, I can say I'm pissed off. But it's really Spanky just getting up on my nerves. You know? It's not really me just sitting here. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna punch something, you know, it's a build up, you know, and that's what, Bobby, I will kick you out too, it's a build up, you know, it's not something, I mean, for example, like back in middle school, I could have told you, you know, I felt the worst, you know, and I still look back on it, I did feel the worst, you know, but even now having a lot more problems, a lot more shit to worry about, I still feel like, yeah, middle school was really the time, middle school was really the time, meaning, I know this sounds dark, but if I was to kill myself, it would have been in middle school, you know, and a lot of people say like, well, you should never say that, you should... You should never say that, but it's true. If I was to physically kill myself, it would have been back in middle school. I tried it multiple times. If I was to have killed myself, it would have been back in middle school. Do I want to kill myself now? No. That's not what I mean by give up. And that's another thing people forget. You know, when people say... Oh, I quit, or I give up. You know, a lot of people think, Oh, don't kill yourself. Don't, don't kill yourself. Don't, don't kill yourself. Don't, don't cut yourself. What are you doing? And it's, no. It's not that. You know, you can give up on love. You can give up on just taking care of yourself. You can give up on financial 
you know, financially you can give up. You know, you can give up on, you know, your job hunting. You can't find a job. You can give up on that. You can give up on wanting to get a degree for something. You can give up like how I gave up in high school when I dropped out, which that really wasn't giving up, but it was. You know, I keep on making excuses. Oh, well, Jalissa was pregnant with my son, and, you know, I just wanted to take... Well, you gave up. There's no other way to say it. I gave up. You know, I gave up. I let the pressure get to me. I don't know. I hope someone understands this video. It's like the duck game at the carnival. Y'all know, know that duck game where the ducks pop up and you guys shoot them? <laughs> He's like that. He's just like popping, ducking, moving. And I got <laughs> He knows I'm playing with him. For anyone who's just like, why are you doing that? He knows I'm fucking with him. He knows I do that. And I gotta do that because he will literally scratch himself till he bleeds. And that's something, it's a, a, a dirty slash nasty topic I never wanted to talk about. But I'll talk about it on this video since I already fucking made a fool of myself. But yeah, he scratches so much he bleeds. All this is dried up blood, bobby hair. He literally scratches himself so fucking hard that he will bleed. So that's why I gotta squirt him with the water. Because I know some people are always just like, What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, he will literally make himself bleed. I think that's what is wrong with him. So his, his sides. I cannot talk. Stop. Stop. And oh god, I wish I could just kick him out just like Spanky. But I can't do that to Bobby because Bobby will make himself bleed. And I don't want him to get a fucking infection. So stop scratching. You duck. I need some more water. I need some more water. Y'all follow me to get some more water. Hopefully y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Because a lot of people... I just... I don't know. Man. I really don't know. I'm making this video to help people who don't know. Because I don't know about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why you think... Your life is so bad. I don't know why people think that way, but like I said, I used to fucking think that way. So that's why I don't tell people, oh, you wanna fucking kill yourself? Go fucking do it. Go fucking do it. Go fucking do it. No. Thank you. You could have came back. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but there are seriously some people because I know I used to be suicidal. There's literally people who will be dickheads and tell you, hey, yeah, you need to do it. You just need to off yourself. Stop, stop wasting your time. 
you know, you're not you're not gonna do anything. At least if you off yourself, you get on the news or something. I see you got a YouTube channel that's not doing very good. You know, at this time I really had a YouTube channel that wasn't doing good at all. You know, I probably had the YouTube channel running for three years. Three years. And it was not doing good at all. You know, I had the YouTube that I'm using now, my main YouTube, Freddy Bricks, for three years. And this one's actually doing good. Not the one that I'm uploading, because I'm uploading to Freddy420 Extra. But the channel is actually doing good. I actually got people who come and watch me. I actually got people who support me. On that channel, I had none of that. None of that. I've talked about before. I did uh, Beyblade reviews and Beyblade battles. Uh, me, Fireflame, uh, Ashton, which y'all don't know, and uh, Trent, which y'all don't know. And we had a little Beyblade group, and we would Beyblade. Make Beyblade videos, do Beyblade unboxings, uh, do different uh, combinations to see which ones, um, like how you could change it, you know what I'm saying? Anyone who knows Beyblade, they know what I'm talking about. One day, I came to school. And I always came to school early because this was middle school, you know, I came to school early, you know, and we just kind of like walked around school until school started. I came to school early and uh, this girl runs into me and I think her name was, uh, it wasn't Amanda. Start with an A though. It wasn't Abigail. Uh, I forget, let's just call her Amanda. Let's just call her Amanda. So Amanda came up to me one day. And she's just like. Hey. And I'm just like. Yeah. yeah yes. Because Amanda's a good looking girl. Amanda's a good looking girl. Good looking girl. Good looking girl. So she walks up to me. And says. Hey. I, I seen you from somewhere. I said, where where did you see me? Where where did you see me? I, I seen you on YouTube. You play with Beyblades, right? You know, thinking that she was like, you know, why would you want to watch a Beyblade video if you don't like Beyblades, okay? That was my mindset. Yeah, I make Beyblade videos. Uh, I'm about to upload one when I get home, probably. Oh, that's... That's really lame. What? Your videos are really embarrassing. What are, what are you talking about? Your video... I could not stop laughing. Like, I had to... After a minute, I had to leave the video. It was... It was awful. What, what video are you talking about? And I forget what video she said. But anyways, the point is, it stayed with me even till this day. Of her walking up to me, telling me that she did not like my content. Then after that, it wasn't too long before the whole school knew about my YouTube channel. And you would think, oh, the whole school knows about you? You must be popular, man. You didn't know at the time. You didn't know how popular you... No. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. I wish. I wish. They would literally do this. So we had, um... We had a math class, and, you know, in the morning, it was kind of like tutor time, and you could do whatever you want. You could come, draw on the board... You could project your favorite YouTube videos, you know, your favorite music, as long as it didn't have, like, any cuss words, you know, we could do censored songs. Dance, 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 stop. <laughs> you know, shit like that. 
But, uh, yeah, I walk in, and as soon as I walk in the door, I hear something, and I know it sounds familiar. I look at the projection, and here I am, in my socks, making this little Beyblade video. So this is a Storm Pegasus. Ooh, this is gonna spin nice. Here, let's see how this. Let it rip! And then everyone just starts laughing. And I sit there. You know, I'm not sitting, I'm standing at the door. And I just feel like, wow, I'm fucking trapped. I'm fucking trapped. So, I go to turn leave the door, uh, we'll call him Mr., um, let's call him by his first name, his first name was Nick, let's call him Mr. Nick, uh, Mr. Nick said, oh, now I'm thinking of the Simpsons, but Mr. Nick said, hey, where are you going, Trevor, and I said, uh, I, I gotta go to the, to the, to, to the tutor room, oh, but we're all watching your video, they really like, no, I think, I gotta go to the tutor room. I I gotta I gotta go. O okay, and I kid you not, <laughs> I got in the bathroom, the bathroom, locked the stall, and I just sat there in the corner. I sat there in the corner just thinking, you know, like. What do I do? You know, and it made me start to think, like, is YouTube worth it? Is YouTube worth it? You know, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing what I like to do. But is it really worth it? You know, and I finally stood up and I said, no, no, no. So I went through a day of bullshit, and as soon as I got home that day, I ended up deleting my channel. Completely deleting my channel. Completely deleting my channel. And I came to school the next day. Hey Trevor, where are your videos? Where are your videos? I'm trying to look for them. I'm trying to look for them. And I know they're just like pushing my buttons to see, like, you know, acting like they're cool with me, and then. I'm going to show them one of my video. Oh my god. So, I just told them, oh man, um, no, I closed my YouTube. I closed it. Why'd you close it? Uh, I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I want to do something different. So that's when um, I had a group of friends, uh, Frederick, Hayden, and, uh, get the other boy's name. Get the other boy's name. Chubby little boy. Chubby little boy. Cannot think of his name. Cannot think of his goddamn name. But, uh, anyways, we all had this little group, and we called it the Jacket Crew. And pretty much we did videos that were troll videos. You know, we would be in P.E., and, you know, I would just pull out my phone. Hey, this is the Jacket Crew. And pretty much the ideal of the Jacket Crew is because it didn't matter if it was summer, didn't matter if it was winter, if it was fall, spring. We always had a hoodie jacket on. We always had a hoodie jacket on. So, I would record, hey, it's the Jacket Crew here. Uh, there, there's Frederick over there. Um, yeah. See Rashad over there? Watch this. Shot! Yeah? Hey man, why you hit me in the face? Why you look at him! Look! Oh my god! And <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. I know it was bullying. But trust me, I got my ass beat. I got my ass beat for a lot of the shit I did. A lot of the shit I did. 
Uh, but anyways, point being is, you know, word started going around the school like, hey, hey these these guys are actually funny, and you know, it started changing like. Hey, you're the Jacket Crew, aren't you? You're the Jacket Crew. And then it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, <clears throat> one day, because I would, keep in mind, I was the owner of the channel. I was the one who did all the editing, all the uploading, but everyone else had the password and username, okay? But I was the one who did the videos. I know that's kind of confusing, but anyways. So... I was recording a video and we were in class one day and we're just sitting there and I pull out my vape and I just got a little pin vape at this time and then Hayden turns to me what are you doing man and I'm just like shut up man and he's just like are you recording I'm just like, yeah, it's for the channel, man. And he's just like, bro, don't record me. And, you know, having the mentality I did, especially with the way our channel was, you know, it was kind of a trolling channel. I got my phone. Hey, look, there's Hayden. There's Hayden. Look at him. Look at him. Dude, stop this. Dude, stop this. The old class. Dude. Dude, stop this. And I just kept on going. And then I ended it. I said, okay, okay, I won't, I won't upload this video. I won't upload this video because I could really tell it was kind of messing with him. Like, he just wasn't having a good day. And uh, that was one fuck up. The second fuck up came the next day. So the next day I'm thinking, oh, he's in a, he's in a better mood. I sit down, what's up, Hayden? Hey. You, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Just pulls out his 3DS, starts playing it. Hey, what game are you playing? Star Fox. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So, uh, while he's playing this, he's got his headphones in, he can't hear nothing. I decided to be a dick, pull out the phone, and record another fucking video the next fucking day after he was pissed off at me for doing that. Didn't tell him I was recording, and, uh, the video wasn't embarrassing other than he was playing a 3DS, and, uh, he did... He, he didn't pick his nose, okay? I swear to God, he did not pick his nose. He was playing the 3DS and he said, and I did not notice it when I was recording it. I did not notice it when I was recording it. So I upload it and it took like that whole class period to upload and we're just going along and then this is like third period and then we get to fifth period which was PE and everyone's just like Aiden Aiden he's just like what hey you pick your nose no you sure yeah well, I'm watching the video right now and you're picking your nose what what and he just came up to me and he said, I'm done with you, Zoop. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I said, no, bro, bro, bro. I, I'll, take, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. It's no big deal. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you doing that. He's like, no, you shouldn't have been recording me in the first place. You shouldn't have recorded me at all. You know, and then he told me, you know, don't upload anything anymore. So I said, okay. I won't upload anything anymore. So I go home and I delete the video that I upload. And I woke up the next day, the whole channel's gone. The whole channel's gone. And 
then I started realizing I did the same shit to him that everyone else did to me. You know, I did the exact same stuff that I did, that, that other people did to me. You know, showing other people, you know, videos and just being like, hey, look at him, look at him, look at him Beyblade and all this shit. And I just buried Hayden, the same hole that I was in the year before. So, uh, that wasn't too fun. That was not too fun. Ugh. Throat went dry for a second. Not too fun. Not too fun. You hear how my throat is... <sighs> I need to drink more. I've been talking for literally like 30 minutes straight. Maybe not 30 minutes, but I'm pretty sure ever since 7 minutes, I've been talking straight. Which, I like doing videos like this, because it just makes me, it makes me be able to get out everything I want to say, you know. And yeah, hopefully y'all understand, and I don't know what the point of the last story I told was, other than just to explain myself, but uh, yeah. <laughs> As always, I hope y'all enjoyed some with me. I enjoyed some with y'all. As always, peace out.